I now officially insist that you take a sabbatical. No, no. Let me finish. I used to work in a sheet metal factory, but then a job came along at the tannery. The hours were better and I would get paid. Also, I'd have the chance to work with leather, both before and after it was on the cow, which had always been a dream of mine. I didn't want to give up my sheet metal job, so I tried to do both jobs and finish middle school. How old were you? Eleven. The point is, I was so tired, I tried to puncture an eight-gauge aluminum foil with a leather awl. <laughs> wow. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. So if you want to win that seat... Which I do. Then commit yourself, 100%. Take a sabbatical. I will cut back to 10 hours a week. Deal. 15. 10. Deal. It's a nice chair. Corinthian leather, solid mahogany frame with what I believe are hand cut mortise and tenon joints pinned with oak. I was really looking forward to sitting in it. Figured this might be my last chance. You don't know that. Ron, for the last six months, my friends have worked so hard. Every five minute coffee break at work, every night, every weekend, every spare moment of their lives, they gave to me. If I lose, I'll never forgive myself. You deserve to win. We didn't volunteer to help you because we wanted to wrap ourselves in personal glory. We did it because we care about you. You had a dream and we wanted to support your dream. That's what you do when you care about someone. You support them, win, lose, or draw. Let's go back to the party. You drive, I've had 11 whiskeys. Hey, did you hear the news? Ben and Chris want us to go in a conference room seat for a meeting. Let's get this over with. Happy birthday, Ron. Anne said you had a big party. Sombreros, karaoke. Yeah, I did that for Anne. Why would I throw Ron Swanson and Anne Perkins' party? What about the giant list of things April was doing? That was just a list of ways to mess with you. She do them all? She did indeed. So, I have rented Bridge on the River Kwai and the Dirty Dozen. Artie from security is outside the door, so no one will bother you and a cab will be here whenever you're ready to take you home. Thank you. Do you remember what you said to me five years ago when Eagleton offered me that job and I asked you for your advice? Uh, do whatever the hell you want, what do I care? Right, but then after when I pressed you, what did you say? I believe I said that I thought we worked well together and that I might disagree with your philosophy, but I respected you. And I said that you'll get a lot of job offers in your life, but you only have one hometown. Yes, that's how I remember it. This, by the way, is a one-time only situation. Next year, your birthday party is gonna be a rager. I love the first floor of City Hall at night when all the fluorescents are half off. It just makes the informational flyers look so beautiful. I've never willingly been here later than 5.04 p.m. Before we go inside, I'd like to say something. You are a wonderful person. Your friendship means a lot to me. And you look very beautiful. Okay, weirdo. Let's go. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, my, 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 do my eyes deceive me? Is that Ron Swanson? Hello, Leslie. Hello, April. Larry? Uh, it's Terry now. Okay. 
As luck One would sec. have it. Oh, did you talk to Randy about the vote? Tell the Northeast that we need to put pressure on them or else we're gonna be waiting forever and I'm tired of waiting on them, okay? okay. Sorry, this is a crazy day. So, what's up with you, you big lug? Nothing important, just thought you might wanna have lunch. Uh, tomorrow? I would love to, it's been too long. JJ's Diner, 12.30. Excellent, see you then. Okay, so Randy says the hostel's voting tomorrow and they need us in Washington to prep. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Okay, get us the first flight out of here and grab the Missouri files, meet me at my car. Hey, babe, I gotta go to Washington. Can you pick up the kids? Oh, oh no, Ron, I stood you up for lunch. You did, yes. I waited for a while, but it was pretty easy to figure out what had happened. Your life seemed pretty hectic. Is that the rest of the story, that I stood you up? You were going to ask me something. That's why you wanted to have lunch. Ron, you were going... I was going to ask you for a job. In the federal government. Just saying it out loud feels dirty. You missed your friends. And you wanted to come up to the third floor and work with us again. I can't even imagine how hard that must have been for you. God, why didn't I see that? Ron, I am so sorry. I should have been a better friend to you. Honestly, Leslie, it's fine. It was a punctuation mark on a sentence that had already been written. My time in government work was over. I'm sure I loved shutting things down and bleeding the rotting beast from the inside. Your metaphors are so beautiful. But it was time for me to leave. And I didn't feel like explaining why to you or anyone. I suppose I had simply accomplished everything I wanted to, and there seemed to be little point in continuing. So, what do you want to do now? Well, that's the problem. I am not sure. My kids are growing up. My days in an office feel like a waste. I would like to turn my attention to something that would make me feel useful. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out what. And there are not many people. I mean, we were workplace proximity acquaintances for many years. And so I thought, I thought maybe. Say no more, you big softy. I'm gonna spend every waking moment trying to figure this out for you. You wanna stay for dinner? We're having steak. Mm -hmm. But we're also hosting several members of the House Subcommittee on Foreign Affairs. I'll take that steak to go, please and thank you. Hey, there you are. Thanks for meeting me here. Well, if you'd have held them here instead of that conference room, I would have come to more meetings. I gotta tell you, Leslie, establishing this national park right next to Pawnee is quite an accomplishment. This is a fine piece of land you saved. Thank you, Ron. You want to run it? The superintendent of Bryce Canyon retired, and I convinced the superintendent of this park to transfer, shuffled a few things around. The point is, someone needs to take care of this place now. Thought it should be you. I, well, first of all, I would be working for the federal government. Your job would be to walk around the land alone. You'd live in the same town you've always lived in. You'd work outside, you'd talk to bears. Next argument. Well, there must be dozens of people gunning for this job. I wouldn't want you to ruffle any feathers. Am I even qualified? Well, a few people might be annoyed, but they'll get over it. And as far as your qualifications, you're Ron Swanson. Stop being a dummy and accept. When do I start? Oh, today. I already accepted for you. I still remember how to forge your signature. Let's go meet your staff. Okay. Houses for a headline, still swinging. Parks gang reunites for one last bang. That's a little dirty. Well, it's a headline, Shauna, sex sells. Nope, make yourself useful and hand me that crescent wrench. Well, not bad craftsmanship, Ron. It is perfect craftsmanship. I calculate the cost of my labor at $38. I can send the bill to you. So you think you're gonna stick around, Pawnee? Oh, I imagine so. Not sure where I would go, really. Well, we're gonna come back here a lot. You know what they say. Don't be a stranger. Mm -hmm.